Hello and welcome to Maker's Workshop. I'm Michael. This is Maker's Workshop. If you've been following along, then you've probably noticed over the course of the past year, we've been slowly building out a second space for our big equipment. Today, we're going to be putting the final touches on the new equipment room with a built-in sound system. I like ceiling speakers because they don't take away from the space. They're kind of hidden and they can offer a good amount of sound. But in this space, we have exposed ceilings, which complicates ceiling speakers a little bit, but we are going to address that problem using the laser cutter, and I'll make the files available over on the website. So if you have a similar circumstance, just go on over and check those out. Let's go. I think the place where it makes the most sense to start is in the actual stereo system itself. I have some pretty basic components and any stereo system that you put in will need these basic components but they won't need to be these exact ones. I went for ease of use as one of my main criteria but if you prioritize like heavy duty sound or whatnot then different speakers might be for you. That being said, I'll link everything that I'm using in the description if you want to duplicate this one. I've used most of these components before and I personally like the sound of it, but it's such a person specific thing. I'm not really the biggest sound snob. We have a basic Bluetooth receiver and amplifier in one. Some Amazon special stereo speaker wire and a set of two inexpensive in-ceiling speakers. Speaker number one, and speaker number two. Oh no. To handle this, I'm designing a box to fit perfectly on these speakers in on shape. This will be a laser cut box with ledges on it that'll be able to screw firmly into the beams in the ceiling. Once I had my design down, I headed over to the laser cutter to give this a test cut on some scrap half inch plywood. A little warped. I only need a small piece, so I'm just gonna cut a piece off so they'll sit flat. Not the safest way to do that. Do not recommend. The slightly thinner plywood cut really easily on the laser, so I had all the components for my box cut in no time. The intent of this first draft is to test fit it together and either confirm that my design is good or to find what needs to be changed. So all the pieces fit together including the top, which will just be a tight pressure fit. That one's not gonna get glue, so that if we ever need to mess with the wires, we can easily just pop it off and have full access to the top of the speaker. Since my first draft worked out, I just needed to print a second one for the other speaker on some more plywood. I was able to get all of this done using just scrap, which was kind of nice. Did you get it? What was, what was I getting? The shot of me looking amazing. I got that. Okay. 
cup. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to just kind of wipe down the edges of all of our doohickeys. And then we are going to start putting them together so that they can start to dry. It's gonna be amazing. Need a rag. You might want to come in and get a close up of this because it's going to look really nice. Ooh. Hashtag satisfying. Just kidding. Once I had the edges cleaned off with the paint thinner, I grabbed some Type Bond 3 wood glue to get this assembled. I went pretty liberal with the glue here because I don't want speakers falling on our heads and use painter's tape to clamp them. It really doesn't matter what the interior of this looks like, but I took a second to clean up the seams a little bit with some water before leaving the boxes to dry. And then it was time to figure out where I wanted these speakers mounted and where I needed to run the wires. And now I'm gonna do it again on the other side so that we know where we're bringing the wires to. Over there. I'm using a staple gun to secure the wires into place. Since these are low voltage wires, this should be just fine. I'm also using insulated staples for the bulk of this after the wires double up as it wraps around the perimeter of the shop. Done! So since it's hard to get into one frame, all I did was I took two wires, one for each speaker, and I made it start where the speaker is going to be and left it hanging down. And then I brought it all the way around, nice and tidy, to where the controller is going to be over there. At this point, the glue was dry and it was time to take the tape off. I counted out my screws and washers at this point and prepped them ahead of time to streamline things. All right, I'm gonna give these a quick sand to get rid of the laser smudges, nothing too fancy. And then I'm gonna hang them up in the ceiling. I don't know how clear it's gonna be once I get up there because it's kind of a tight space for filming. But all I'm gonna do is I'm going to push this side up against the beam. And then we have these holes already lasered into the holder here. And I'll put a screw into each one of those and secure it to the beam up top. I am using screws to screw this right onto the beam. One of my beams was pretty warped, so I needed to add in an extra plank of wood to level it out. But I did my best to work around it in a way that would mask it. Pretty good, it's not perfect. How heavy is it gonna be? Not heavy. I'm confident this glue's gonna hold. Not good enough. It's pretty tight up in the ceiling, so I'm gonna show what I'm doing to get the speaker in place down here on the box that's not yet secured to the beams. It's pretty straightforward, with four knobs that loosen and tighten to hold the speaker into place, and then there's a port for the positive and negative wires that are already up on the ceiling in position, ready to go. So then I went ahead and did all of that, but up on the ceiling. I left one piece off to the side of these. Once I had their wiring in place, I glued this final side onto the box and then loaded it up with painter's tape to dry. And then I repeated all of that on the second speaker.
The last puzzle piece to tackle is the receiver. I used a multi-tool to cut out a pocket in the wall to fit the thing into. I trimmed my wires and fed them into place. And then got the box wired up and also into place. It worked. So here's the deal. I didn't like what I had originally picked out and got this thing instead. The original receiver was 25 watts. I prefer to really crank my music, so I got a system with 2000 watts and replaced it. This one's better. Brooke doesn't actually add our music during the edit. We jammed a free audio library music all day in the shop. And now you know. That's the new sound system. We will link everything over on the website, so go check that out. We will put the files for the boxes over there, which made it really easy to install this in an exposed ceiling. And until next time, I'm Michael. This is Maker's Workshop. See you later.